Okay, I gotta do the uh, the Wrangler dash, and uh, I just know that there's folks out there who can commiserate with me. And so, obviously, the, the most advantageous thing to do would be to tell Davey to grab his camera, and uh, because the impending uh, darkness is coming, so now I need to play origami with my cover. And so instead of Davey helping me, um, we're gonna see and how long it actually takes me to do my cover, which was wet from last night, apparently. How many of you know what this is like? This is the, this is the, the downside. I don't even have a soft top on my Jeep. So I have to do this, because uh, obviously I have the hard top. And then the 40s. I don't. Evo, Evo, Evo. Evo. Smells like antifreeze out here. No, it doesn't. Nope. Nope. That's Canadian wildfires. That's why. Oh, I found my lunch. I'm going to want that later. Oh, there's... I think I'm doing really good. Come on. I know somebody out there feels this. If you need this cover, uh, this is one we sell. Uh, it's my best top. It's a good cover. It's uh, water resistant. Oh, there comes the rain. I think we're good. We're almost fully done. Is it good, Davey? Does it look good? It looks good. Let's go! Ow, ow, ow! It's okay. That was perfect timing. Good work, Davey. Oh, I left my lunch out there. I love this purple Jeep. It's out of Western Pennsylvania. Big shout out to the owners, Amy and CJ. Thank you for your support. Coming out and doing all their modifications with us. We've done some really trick stuff over the years. It's got a beautiful JKS suspension, lots of quality components. It is, uh, I think this is the winter, the Arctic package, which is one of those super cool packages. I know that if I don't get it right, I'll get kind of fried on this one. I don't, hold on a second. I, you know, I did a thing. I think the Arctic was made like in 15 to 16. Winter package was, they were running out of parts right before the JL series came out. And so they wanted to give the consumer a reason to purchase JKs still made in late 17 and 18. So the really cool thing about this particular Jeep, uh, again, this is made in 18 or at the end of the JK run, uh, you had not this halo piece on the outside, but you had the LED package, you had the steel bumper, um, you had the graphics package, the monochromatic look that you would typically see from a Sahara. It was just a really well set up, beautiful piece. And again, those owners have just made it better with us. Now, why we're actually shooting the video today, why it's here today is because they were at Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival and they came across the product from Easy 4x4, I believe. And we're gonna take a look at that in a second. It's an interesting product that actually flips your freedom panels back. Kind of like, a, you know, how you take your, t your freedom panels, you take them and remove them from the Jeep. This actually allows you to uh, un unhasp them and then they flip back and semi-secure to the top. So our lead performance, Greg, just got done putting the hinges on. They're an interesting design. We're gonna show you how they work. It is a good product for this particular Jeep because of those steel bumpers. And so you're gonna be able to get up and access the rooftop pretty easily. Pretty cool mechanical action here. So you can see the hinges are this Kind of double structure here this actually installs utilizing automotive grade 3m adhesive uh, so this is actually the tape that holds down uh, all the body molding and panels for like a production vehicle that one of the big you know one of the big auto manufacturers would would use the type of product that's currently holding these hinges on they do have options for running some screws in but then 
you are drilling your hardtop. And we have drilled hardtops for customers. We'd like to see how well this product holds up before we go about drilling the hardtop, but we will totally defer to the customer. You can see back here, there's some hinge options to go ahead and secure the top down so it doesn't shake and make a bunch of noise. I think that this particular product will be really well complemented with some body armor side steps that allow the user to really access the top easily. That will make their life much more gooder. But a cool product and one that we definitely wanted to show you guys. What's up? What's up? So, Tech Tuesday. Uh, Tech Tuesday. Back, again. Back again. So we are uh, working on a dashboard for the CJ7. We have our speed height gauges that have been shown before. Uh, speedometer, tack and clock, and oil pressure and uh, voltage. We have our retro sound radio, and I got new lights for all of our heater controls and the like. We have the factory lighter and ashtray bracket. That's something that's often missing on one of these. We have our buttons. These are momentary buttons. That's how you set your clock and you set your tack. So this cool thing about this radio, the adjustability, up, down, left, right, in and out. So they make use a product that you can put into a vintage vehicle that originally came with a two knob radio and you can, for the most part, make sure it fits. Uh, this one is designed for a CJ, but they have one for almost every vehicle I know of. So that's where we're going on with that. Over on Brittany the Jeep, you know, we previously saw we got the motor installed. Since then we got our steering shaft on we got our power steering lines finished and hooked up. We have our transmission installed, which means our clutch is installed. We have routed our wiring back to our gas tank, like factory. You can see down in that belly pan, all the rust. That is just shedding off the transmission, the transmission mount. The bracket that holds the mount was very, very, very rusty. It was actually bowed from the rust. I had to clean that all out. Got a new mount installed in the transmission. Uh, we have a new DeWitt muffler and tailpipe. We're just doing a factory style replacement. As a surpriser, this Jeep is not getting lifted. It is not getting modified. It is just getting saved from the rust. The body will be going off to the paint shop hopefully soon. Once that comes back, we will able to assemble that. We're waiting on axles. We're still looking for some of those. Uh, obviously the parts Jeep for Brittany the Jeep that will be going in the hiatus for a moment because uh, we'll be waiting for the body to come back. I don't want to forget or lose all those hardware and parts. So once that comes back, we will then be taking this the rest of the way apart. So over here we have a JKU. It's been in for a bunch of work previously. Uh, we are doing these ARB Solus lights, two here and two at the windshield. We have our KC light bar, wiring those into the trigger. And the cool thing about the ARBs, they are variable brightness. So you can dim them down and bright them up. We've obviously put that rhino rack on previously, the snow or sand shoe rails on the side. The other big thing, we have our Alpine Restyle. Super Jelly, I want one for mine. Integrates into the Jeep. Jeff at this point is a wizard at these. Uh, we just wind them up and let them go and he installs it all. Over here, oh, and you get to see our cool reverse camera. Uh, stop light and it has a reverse light as well. And it just works, it's magic. Plug it in the Jeep, boom, it works. Up on the lift, uh, we have a uh, TJ, it has been used and abused and back in for some more uh, work. Uh, previously, long, long, long time ago, we did an 8.8 swap. We did a high pinion 30 swap, uh, multitude of other stuff, long arm. 
Uh, now it is in for more maintenance stuff. We're doing some axle shafts. We're doing some seals, that kind of stuff. And then over yonder, we have the tried and true uh, faithful Patriot. We're still waiting on the motor. Uh, it had a belly in the middle of the block. So our motor shop uh, took that apart, decked the block, and the minimal amount needed. Uh, and this is the same shop that builds big AMC V8s for us, old 134s for Willie's projects. Um, they can do literally anything. They built my flathead for my 36 project at home. Um, they're on that task, making sure that that is in good enough shape to soldier on for some more miles. Once that's back, we'll be putting that back in and getting him back his Jeep. Axle for the Delta the front. The red JK there. Uh, we've got a tire carrier for the back of the TJ. Uh, some rock lights going on to the JK. Just a, a mixed bag of parts. We're gonna go see the mad scientist. I'm not gonna go. Jeffrey's gonna go. Savage, you're gonna go. We're gonna go see the mad scientist at his home metal shop. He's working on that really trick 1951 M38. If you haven't been following along, quick summary, it's a all original sheet metal and Scott has been systematically going through and making sure that there's no body filler, no brazing, no other issues. And he's putting all uh, metal back in, cutting out all the bad rust, all the brazing, all that body panel filler. He also went ahead and removed uh, or we moved the seats back three inches. So he and I went through and kind of gauged out where that seat bracket will fit. Gives the occupants, uh, the front seat occupants, the maximum amount of leg, uh, the leg space, leg room possible. I think, you know, guys were just smaller in the 50s is my guess, I don't know. Certainly they weren't this. So 1951 M38, we've got parts that are gonna go off to sandblast. We're gonna pick up some parts with, with Scott. We're gonna drop off some parts possibly with Scott. Uh, we're gonna look at the M38 and then you guys are headed over to uh, our industrial sandblaster. Uh, we work with a subcontractor to do all of our big time sandblasting. So you're gonna take these parts over, drop them off, and hightail it back. Yeah, we got a with Scott this morning. Uh oh, why? Me and Jeff had to take apart the fenders. That's, that's, and not, that's, not, a, that's not my thing. This is all your thing. No, because I'm also uh, rebuilding two TJs wiring a cj7 fixing this yeah all your tj parts were all over the shelves that i needed to put the crate axle on so no. I, I was like i don't know how he's going to keep all this straight but i'm going to try to keep it as as he has it on the shelf that's, that's okay hold on a second you gotta see this you'll appreciate this i, I don't know that i will so, so here's some hardware to go back and uh i had to use my kids sandwich baggies <laughs> i love that they have the little bunny. drawings on it <laughs> So I took that all apart and this had uh, some love too that needed done. So so which grill needs love? Your M38 grill. Oh, of course. Does it have fiberglass in it? No, I just, I need you to assess what actually comes apart and what doesn't on it. Oh, jeez. I had Greg look at it and he's like, e yeah, you need to take it to Scott. You said it might be glued together? Yeah. Places? Oh, joy. <laughs> Would that surprise you? N no. Not in the least bit, sadly. So out here, uh, we have a bunch of Jeep. It's very Jeepy out here. Uh, that is a term I've coined at this point. 
we have a cool uh, KL Cherokee. We did a lift kit, oversized tires for it, and rock sliders. Uh, this is a really good customer of ours. Uh, he has had multitude of Jeeps over the years, and at this point he needed something comfy and uh, still wants to get out on the trail now and then. So this is a trail hawk, you can see by the tow hooks. So we've made it even more off-road prowess as it can be. Uh, obviously we got Artie over there. Uh, we are doing a brake job on that before he finally goes home uh, to the owner. We have a tip pump to install on this JK. Uh, we got the beater Impala. I'm, ca I'm calling you out, Neil. <laughs> uh, that TJ next to it is an a older woman. She loves it. She's bought a brand new. Uh, just loves that Jeep to death. It's in for just general maintenance. Uh, next to that, that Jeep is going home. Uh, next to that actually is the people Neil is currently talking to. That's a build we did uh, back in the spring. And then we have uh, Jeffrey's Conestega wagon over there. <laughs> or covered with, I don't what? think that's the word. Yeah, whatever. This is my, I'm on the camera so I can say whatever words I want, right? Okay. okay. It's his covered wagon over there. Oh, and uh, my wife's snow, snowflakes hanging out over there. Oh, you're going to just leave mine out then? It's not a Jeep. Better. You, you, you already Better yelled at me for talking about the Impala. Well, at least mine actually runs. That's true, but it is a Chevy, so it could not run any moment. So, sorry, Chevy Continue. people. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have uh, this TJ is in for some runnability issues. It had an incident where it had a loud flump, and it has been doing some funky things since. We have Harley uh, 1.0. Uh, it is soon to be coming apart for Harley 2.0 as that is going to be coming back from the paint shop. Uh, you will see that on our next Tuesday update. Uh, we have next to that a blast from the past 88YJ. Uh, it is period correct down to everything. Just yes. It is a four cylinder. Uh, so it has fuel injection. It's their first try at fuel injection with the the soft top jeeps it's okay for for the era leaves a lot to be desired compared to the new stuff uh, it has a no start those fuel injection systems on those are actually french so uh, there's a little bit of a problem trying to make those work and figure them out so we are doing our best on that uh, next to that, we have our LJ that was in a car accident. We have, as you see, we got the fender on there. We got control arms on. It's straightened back out. And since it's here, they have elected to do some more upgrades to it. Next to that is uh, Ryan's new whip, uh, his, his JK that's going to be built with a four inch. Because, you know, I'm on three and a half. He had to up me a half an inch four inch long arm, 37s, ultimate rear true track, five 13 gears, doing it all up. Next to that is an RHD TJ. Uh, honestly, I don't even remember what that's here for, but it, it needs some work. Uh, we, we have some, I know what, it, belly drop needs to come out because it has that and a SYE uh, and a multitude of other things. And then we have good old Chuck Norris and uh, I think that's about it out here. Always busy, always got Jeeps going on. Uh, we are still working on the M38. That's not here, it's at my house. Davey's coming out and bothering me when I'm working on it, trying to do videos, so make sure you tune in to those. And other than that, Jeep on. <laughs> <laughs>